lot of the people that ganged up on him, I liked those guys. Mm-hmm. But I was like, you're really going to gang up on the dude? And only in wrestling. Like, you're going to gang up on the dude on social, like a social media thing. You know what I mean? Like, you couldn't gang up on him in his house with just him, like an intervention or something, if he was being that bad. You know what I mean? But, you know, it is what it is. I still love those guys and like those guys that did that, but I just felt kind of weird about it. If we were supposed to be friends, why'd you try to stiff me with money? I would have never thrown the money in your face if you didn't try to fucking stiff me. You stupid, ignorant piece of shit. I hold grudges. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't care. No, we didn't bury the hatchet. And, uh, and that was it. You know what I mean? Like, we don't like each other. And then that, that's just the way it is. And we beat each other up in the ring, and, and that's it. These fucking wrestling phone calls are the worst. I've had more people die in wrestling than I had in my family in these past 11 years. Um, this is when you know it's a, as a, as a pro wrestler, this is when you know it's a bad phone call. You get a bunch of texts, like at least a good 15. You okay? Did you hear? You okay? Did you hear? Then you get at least five voicemails, you know? And you're looking and you're like, who do I call first? You know? And, uh, then you just hear about it, and then you just sit there and you go, yeah, they're gone.